Hello guys, this is Dad's Deborah Claire Channel Guidance and we're here to do a new moon in Libra reading. The new moon in Libra occurs on Friday the 16th of October at 3.30pm EDT, Eastern Daylight Time. And it's a supermoon, which means that it's closer to the Earth than a normal new moon, and so its influence is much more powerful. Now this supermoon new moon is going to bring about justice, love, harmony, balance, which means that if you're in a relationship that have been going through a few issues, this can actually be sorted out and saved at this particular period of time. Anyone new that you're meeting and you wonder whether or not it's going to go very well, it has a really good chance of going the distance because this is all about balance, equal give and take. Um, two people who are working um, together to form a solid foundation for the future. So very exciting. Let's delve in and see what comes through. Alrighty. Um, as always, I'm using an Angel Aura Quartz, which helps me connect through intuitively. As you know, I've also started doing channeled messages, which a lot of you like. So I'll continue to do those. The deck is, as always, the Gilded Tarot by Ciro Marchetti. All right. So you guys might notice I'm in a new environment. Um, it's a bit more echoey because it's a new um, flat. So um, I hope you don't mind if you hear it's a bit echoey. <laughs> I know you guys don't mind. You're really good. All right. So Archangel Michael, thank you for being here. This is going to be a reading for the collective new moon in Libra, Friday the 16th of October. What love energies are coming in, please, for the collective, please, Michael, at this period of time? And who do we have with us, please? Archangel Shamuel, Archangel Azrael, Archangel Jophiel, Archangel Haniel. Thank you, Michael. Okay. Wow. Ace of Cups. Jumped out of the deck. So, maybe some of you, this is new love coming in. Michael's saying this is going to be surprising for those of you who are going to be meeting someone new. You may meet someone also in a very unusual environment, somewhere that you don't usually go. It could be that you strike up a conversation with somebody that you've never met and you realise there is a connection. Hmm, I'm hearing surprising developments, surprising connections. It may also be that if you've been friendly with someone but you know there's been kind of a mutual attraction, sparks could fly. Sparks could fly. Yeah, there could be a moment when you look at each other and you think, wow, actually, yeah, there's more to this than a friendship. <laughs> Fingers crossed, right? Okay. All right, cards already. The deck is feeling a little bit heavy, but I'm actually hearing the word um, fear, anxiety, a bit of nervousness. So guys, just relax, okay? Just relax. And Michael's also telling me to say to you, be yourself. Very much be yourself. Don't be afraid of showing the true you, okay? Yeah. Hmm, okay. Here we go. Mm hmm Wow. Wow. You're standing up for what you believe in, guys. If you are wanting that very strong connection, past life soulmate connection, you're not taking anything less than that. Okay? Yeah. Wow. For some of you, you've definitely gone through it yeah gone through it wow dropping a heavy burden this might have been a situation that was very difficult for you very difficult for you wow yeah and you're very much using your intuition at this time wow okay yeah speaking your truth standing up for what you believe in we have pisces energy Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Yeah, you're, um, sorry, Michael, that goes there. Thank you. I'm just channeling through. I'm getting the word defensive. Somebody may see you as being a little bit defensive, okay? So, sure, put up healthy boundaries, you know, get to know someone. Don't be afraid to speak up for what you want, okay? So if you're not looking for a friends with benefits, casual connection, 
say it, you know? Wow, I find you so attractive, but I'm just not looking for a casual relationship. I'm just looking for something a bit more stable. Say it, don't be afraid of saying it. Because it could actually prevent a lot of heartbreak later on. Yeah, hoping this is gonna move forward, whatever this is, my goodness. Okay, yeah, and this is going to be, wow, Scorpio energy. Woo, major change in transformation. Interesting, underneath that, Okay, Michael's telling me this should be clarification. Okay, here we go. Yeah, two of wands. Standing at crossroads before moving forward. Assessing maybe alternative options. Nothing wrong with that. Wow, we have a king of wands. Fire energy. Somebody really wanting to take action. Beautiful. Yeah, and we have the two of pentacles. Trying to make a decision. There's a lot of decision making here. Do I really want this? Is this going to be uh, moving forward in the right way? All right. Mm -hmm. Wow. Underneath the deck, the lover's Gemini energy. Gemini energy. Okay. Underneath that, the Empress. Some of you are sitting in the energy of the Empress. Maybe for my girls out there, my women out there, you are knowing how much you deserve. You are not taking any less, putting up healthy boundaries. And because you're doing that, you are attracting the right type of love, the right type of connections, okay? Turning people away who just really want a little bit of passion and holding out for someone who's really gonna put in the effort and actually sitting back and allowing them to make the effort before you move forward with them. For you guys out there, you could be meeting an empress, somebody who has learned a lot of life's lessons, been through heartache, been through stress. And this is somebody very grounded, very nurturing, very loving, but she has suffered in the past. Just so that you know that if there's somebody that you feel is putting up a little bit of a boundary towards you, not allowing you in, being a little bit elusive, it is only because she's been hurt in the past. So if this is someone that you really want, guys out there, you know, then give this woman some time. Give her the benefit of the doubt. Get to know this woman. You may find that it all opens up beautifully. Wow. Okay, so people, are you ready? Should we delve in? Uh-huh. I'm going to be clarifying towards the end of the reading, so stay with me. Okay. Shifting the camera fraction. All right, guys. There we go. Okay, that's looking good. So we start with, and I'm hearing standing up for what you feel you deserve. Seven of Wands. For some of you out there, you have been pushing away people. No, I'm not interested. No, I don't really want a sort of casual fling. No, I don't really want to have a one night stand. Thank you. No matter how attractive you are, I'm just not interested. Also, the sense of protecting your stability. I don't know why. You've got someone standing in front of their front door and they're like, no, you're not coming in. No, I don't feel comfortable. No, I don't know you well enough. So whatever this is, this is the energy you're sitting in. And the reason you're sitting in that energy is this is what you are wanting to attract. Two of Cups. A deep soul connection. Somebody that you know that when you look at them, when you spend a few minutes with them, you feel that connection. And it usually is instantaneous. This is something that you will feel quite quickly after meeting someone. Yes, I know there is something here. I get it. And a lot of people misread the connection for lust, desire. This is you really looking into somebody's eyes and feeling, wow, I do feel as if I know you already. I feel that familiar energy. I feel that deep soul connection. And that is what you're looking for. In the past, yeah, heartbreak, pain, stress, you hung on to something for a long time with the Ten of Wands. You carried it for a long time. This is hurt and pain from a situation that didn't work out. 
This could have been, you know, you dealing with issues of lies, deceit, manipulation, third party energies, you know, a lot of stress. Some of you, you ended a long term situation because it wasn't feeding you anymore. But you did give it up. You did drop that cycle and you needed to. This could have been a series of very painful lessons that you needed to learn. And I think for those of you that resonate with this, what you did was you dropped whatever this was and then you kind of hold yourself up emotionally. You could have stayed at home a lot. You could have delved into work a lot. You could have decided, I don't want to date anyone for a long period of time. I want to heal myself. But also I get a lot of self-protection. No, I don't really want to be around people right now. Scared of getting out there, okay? And that is what we see here. Nine of Swords. So yes, I'm getting the word nostalgia. Nostalgically thinking at a situation you had to let go of. Again, maybe a lot of pain, a lot of heartbreak, a lot of stress. But you know you had to let it go. For some of you, you might have been wishing for somebody to come back to you, wishing a situation was ch would change. But I think you came to the realisation that you were actually just holding yourself back from finding new love. You were. You said to yourself, no, I'm going to wait for this situation to come back, even though you had to let it go. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's going to sort itself out. That person's going to return. Everything's going to be good. And I think you realised, wow, I could be sitting here waiting forever. And I think some of you realise time is ticking. Why am I kind of quietly waiting, hoping that something is going to happen from the past. Someone's going to come back. Someone's going to apologize. I think he realized I could just be sitting here, wasting time, hoping when actually I need to get back on my feet and sort myself out. So I think you did. Again, putting up strong boundaries, pushing away people that might have come towards you for just sexual connection, right? We've all been there. And I think now what you are hoping for is with the energy of the High Priestess, some of you may be hoping to connect with a Pisces or a Cancerian, but I think you're hoping to use your intuition pertaining to the next connection that is coming into your life, because someone is coming in, they're on their way. And you are hoping to have the courage to put up healthy boundaries, that this is going to be a lasting soulmate connection, and you are going to be leaning very much on your intuition. Does this person feel right? When I talk to this person, do I feel that they're telling me the truth? Is the energy around them good energy? Do they seem to be putting in the effort? Okay. Are they looking at me, listening to what my, I'm saying, as opposed to looking down my blouse? Right, we've all been there. <laughs> okay, yeah. So Archangel Michael, when is the Queen of Swords coming into the immediate future, please? Hmm. 11th of November. Michael, really? Yes. He, okay, 11th to the 18th of November. That period of time, collective, you are sat in the Queen of Swords. And I'm getting a very strong, powerful energy. Yes, for some of you, this could be relevant, particularly if you are an air sign. Not necessarily. You could just be embodying the energy of this Queen. This is someone you don't mess with. This is someone you don't lie to. This is someone who has been through it in the past. And I can see whoever this is, you've been through it. This could be several of you, could be one or two of you. But this is someone who is going to be a little bit um, keeping their distance. This is somebody who is not going to put all their cards on the table on the first date. This is you. This is you asking a lot of questions. And I don't mean, you know, firing questions at somebody as if they're in a job interview. No, we don't want to do that, right? We don't want to do that. But this is someone who is working out the real intentions, the true intentions of the person who's coming in. What do you really want from this? Are you really interested in me or what you can get from me? In the yes. I think for some of you, you're nodding, going, yeah, I get it. Your back is slightly turned, you're very wary, but you're smiling and you are interested. 
whoever is in your environment has manifested you in. They're sitting in the magician. Now, I like this energy because this is not in the reverse. This is I don't feel manipulation. And partly because right next to that, we have the king of wands. This is someone mature. This is somebody who may have learned their lessons. Okay. This is somebody who's going to take action. And they are manifesting you in. This is somebody who feels they have all the tools they need for you to accept whatever they are potentially offering you. Could be a relationship, could be just getting to know you, could be moving things onto a friendship basis before anything else. But this is someone that feels that you will accept them. And this is someone who is also quite powerful in their own right. This could be somebody very intuitive. We have Gemini Scorpio because it's Saturn and potentially also Virgo energy. This is also the energy of a divine masculine. So for some of you, you have a divine masculine who has manifested you in or manifesting you in because you are sitting in the energy of the Empress. Beautiful. We also have the High Priestess and the Magician, a very powerful soul connection. Past life, deep soulmate, potentially also twin flame energy. For those of you that this resonates with, you are sat in the fall of pentacles in terms of your fears. Fearing this person is hiding things from you. I think, to be honest, that's an automatic reaction for those of you who have been involved with people who lied in the past to you. But the four of pentacles is also you standing well back, letting them do the talking, not rushing straight in, finding out more about this person. This could be you delving into finding out more about them online. Make sure that this person is happy, relaxed to take you to wherever they're living, allows you to see them at their work. Because for many people, if you meet someone and they tend to keep, want to keep you away from their personal life, they want to meet you in a bar, a cafe, a restaurant. They're always making an excuse for not allowing you to see them at their home, allowing you to meet them at their work. And it could well be, for those of you who have already been through that type of energy, it's because they're hiding things. They're hiding a third person. They're hiding their true status. So do your research. Do your research. For some of you, you're hanging on to your money. For some of you with the Four of Pentacles, you're a little bit nervous that this person may be manifesting you in because they are maybe potentially not doing so well financially. But you're going to be using your intuition about this in your hopes, eight of wands, hoping that maybe when you get to know this person, those messages will become more passionate, that you two will spend time together with days out, evenings together, getting to know each other and things will move forward. For some of you, if this is online, you're hoping this person is going to travel to see you and vice versa, hoping that you, even with the situation you've got going, can have the time, can make the time to want to see this person. The outcome, major change and transformation. Beautiful, the death card. This is you closing out a cycle of your life that might have been very painful in the past. This is you moving into empress energy or magician energy, depending on who is watching this, male or female. But the death card is you moving yourself, shifting yourself into a brand new life cycle, a new relationship. You're grounded, you're stable, you're matured, you've learned your lessons. You know who you want. This person, I believe, has also learned lessons. They may have been through it. And they are now sat in the magician and they are matching you in terms of their energy. You could be very simply connecting to a Scorpio in the future. But this is a very powerful union. Two of Cups, High Priestess, Magician, the Lovers, beautiful, the Empress. Clarification. This is you taking your time. 
For some of you, you have two options. Some of you, you're out there dating with a seven of cups. You are looking at who else is out there. Okay, what do I want from this connection? Is this person on the same page as me? And you're assessing what you want for a future relationship. Do I want something passionate, exciting? Maybe you've been in a really difficult long-term relationship where the passion went very quickly. Are you looking for something spiritual? Are you looking for intellectual conversation? Do you want someone who can hold a good conversation with you? That you suddenly look at your watch and you think, wow, where did the time go? We have been talking for six hours. That type of energy. Are you looking for something peaceful? Maybe there was a lot of drama with people in the past. Do you want something that's going to grow? You want someone to work in partnership with you to form that really stable foundation. You're going to be thinking about all of this. Standing at crossroads, not rushing. The energy I'm getting is that you are going to be allowing this person to pursue you. You're going to be sitting back with the energy of the Empress, male or female, and you're going to be allowing this person to move towards you, asking some questions, taking it slowly, allowing them to prove themselves to you, not rushing. This person is going to be putting you on a little bit of a pedestal because you will seem very different than maybe the other people out there. They're sat in the King of Wands. They know that they can manifest you in, but they also know that you are taking no prisoners. You may also tell this person that you have been manipulated in the past, that you've learned your lessons, that you're not looking for something casual. And they're realizing that and deciding that you are the person they want and they're taking action. But they have to decide how they're going to do it. This is someone who realizes that they're going to need to work to bring you into their life. They're going to need to work to prove to you that what they say is honest, trustworthy. They are trustworthy. They are going to be loyal. And they're trying to make a decision how to do that. How can I bring this person into my life? But they are ready to sit in the energy of the King of Wands and the Magician. So let them come to you. Let them manifest you in with healthy boundaries and using your very strong intuition to judge whether or not this is the person you really want to be with. It's going to work out, guys. Wow. Should we delve in? Let's see what's going on. Archangel Michael, what is the energy of the Queen of Swords? Thank you. What is the energy of the Queen of Swords? What is the energy of the Queen of Swords? I feel you're going to be holding yourselves back. You're going to be trying to decide whether or not this is someone that is worth your time. I'm not feeling any sense of ego. I just feel that you know that this feels right, but you want to ensure this person is going to be putting in the effort. Let's have a look and see what we've got. Wow, my goodness. Let's get these the right way. My goodness, judgment. Mm -hmm. So, the divine has said to you, this person could be your true divine partner. We're bringing this person into your life. What decision are you going to make? Have you learned your lessons? Leo energy. You've got a lot of self-esteem. You hold yourself in very high regard and you are not rushing forward. You're also taming the lion within, okay? So you are putting this person at a bit of an arm's length and maybe for some of you, you're deciding, I don't want to be intimate with this person for a few weeks. I want to see whether or not they stick around. But you feel, wow, weird fortune. 
that this could be a destined partnership that could lead to a lot of love. This is a lovely reaction from you. This is not rushing forward. You are saying to this person, okay, yeah, let's see how this goes. I'm developing feelings for you. This is just a page. You're just saying to this person that the attraction is mutual. This could grow. Let's just see whether or not you put in the effort. This is what you're saying to them. So Archangel Michael, who is sat in the energy of the magician? Who is sat in the energy of the magician? I feel that this is someone who has decided they want to be with you. This is someone who could very well have ended a connection in the past and they are ready. They are ready for you. This is someone who is potentially going to be reaching out to say to you that you are their wish come true, you are their happiness. This is someone who is going to be understanding that they need to be very honest with you in order to bring you into their life. And they're going to be speaking their truth because they know, particularly if you're sat, huh, particularly if you're sat in very strong energy, they're going to need to really work to be with you. Okay, that's it. Michael's saying that's it. Okay. Hmm. Love it. So we start off with a mutual attraction, page of wands. So you're coming through with a page of cups. This is initial connection. They're coming through with an initial little message. You know, I find you very attractive, whatever this is. I love the way you dress. I like the fact that you, you know, have confidence. Whatever this is, they like being with you. Mm, attraction. King of Cups. This person is sat in very mature energy. This is someone who may have quietly decided that they're falling in love with you, but not really wanted to express it. But they are generally in touch with their feelings. This could, for some, be a fire sign with water in their chart, a water sign with fire in their chart. But this is someone who is understanding that you may be the person that they've been looking for. I believe this person could have walked away from a long-term relationship that wasn't working out. They might have be, they might be separated from someone, divorced. Yes, this person may have become divorced. Well, this is someone who let go of a Taurus. They could also have ended things with a Libra. But Ten of Cups in reverse, the Hierophant in reverse, the Justice card in reverse. This is divorce. They may have moved to your area recently. They could want to come and see you. If this is someone you meet online, you may suggest that you meet halfway. But this is someone who's got expectations. Wow. Expectations of moving into a place of great happiness, enlightenment, forward movement. This is the energy you feel when you're on holiday. This is a completely stress-free relationship. That is what they're wanting. And they may believe that you are going to bring that energy into their life. This is also Leo. For some of you, you're connecting to a Leo or you are a Leo. The star card, Aquarian energy. This is someone who feels enlightened when they meet you. This is someone who feels that you may be their wish come true. They also may feel this is divinely guided. King of Swords. This could be somebody who is healing from a difficult relationship that ended. They could still be going through the last vestiges of a legal case. This could simply be an Aquarius Libra Gemini. Coming in to talk to you, telling you the truth, what they've been through, what they want in the future, which is happiness and stability. Beautiful energy. Yes, under the deck, Ace of Swords. This person has cut out... Underneath that, Nine of Cups, player energy. This person has realized that they want to put in the effort if they are to have a real relationship where the two of you support each other moving through life. 
they have felt very left out in the cold, they could have lost a lot of money, and they have definitely been through trials and tribulations, issues with other people, arguments, disagreements, maybe pertaining to an ending. They have released their shadow energy. They've gone out of a toxic situation and they have, with the Four of Swords being through it themselves, they have suffered from heartbreak and they are now picking themselves up and they are moving in your direction. Wow. Underneath that, if I can get the card out, the Knight of Cups. Beautiful energy. Passion, romance, a lot of maturity with the King of Wands, that's someone who takes action. The King of Swords speaks his truth. The King of Cups is emotionally connected. Beautiful energy. So, Archangel Michael, what is the energy of the Death card? This is major change and transformation. This, I believe, is two people coming together, opening up to each other. And I feel that with a lot of introspection, this could go the distance. For some of you, you are going to move forward. You won't know whether or not this is going to work out in the future, but this could potentially be something very exciting, something that's going to grow and develop. I do feel travel. For some of you, this could be potentially a relocation in the future. The two of you putting in the work and effort to create something beautiful, having grown, having matured, having learned your lessons. And I feel both of you in this situation, both of you. Any more energy, Michael, please? see what we have wow look at that stunning energy queen of wands you two are definitely divinely guided to come together king and queen of wands there's a lot of passion here there's a lot of action there's a lot of making it happen i'm hearing the words making it happen beautiful aries energy Deciding, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to do it. I've learned life's lessons. I feel my person has two. This person has two. They're coming forward to me with very straightforward, open and honest communication. They're going to take action. They're in touch with their feelings. I'm going to see where it goes. I think this is you taking a leap of faith. Yeah. Yeah. Page of Pentacles. Taking it slowly. Taking it slowly. This is exclusive dating not really wanting to date anyone else. And I believe this is mutual energy, guys. Yeah, there's a lot of passion. So if you guys have been holding yourself back, right, maybe from being intimate with someone, it's going to be unleashed and it's going to be on fire. But because you built the foundation previously, maybe in terms of getting to know someone, building up a friendship, this is also going to lead, I feel, to commitment. This could go the distance. Yes, my goodness. Ace of Pentacles, the start of something beautiful. And I feel with this energy, Michael's telling me this is mutual energy. Both of you have left very difficult situations, whether it's long-term single, permanently involved with people who couldn't commit to you. Maybe for some of you in a long-term relationship that you had to end because it wasn't going anywhere. Both of you have kind of broken free from this energy, moved out of the shadow into the light. This is also, of course, mutual ascension. Gorgeous energy, Pisces energy. So I'm going to leave it there. I think this is a stunning reading for someone. If you feel this is your story or this may be what is coming forward for you, for those of you who are connected very strongly to this, do reach out. It's DebraClaire.com. Sending love and light your way as always. Many blessings. Take care of you 
and I'll be back before you know it with your next set of readings. Bye now.